Laughter is 10 times more powerful than screams, but why is that? Today, I'm gonna theorize on why a chuckle, a giggle, a snicker, a ho-ho, or a chortle provides exponentially more energy for the monster world. Hello, I'm Isaac from Monster Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. On my channel, I focus on spreading magic by examining Disney films, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. At the beginning of Monsters, Inc., the monster world is in crisis. Everything the monster world had was powered by scream energy, but there was a problem. We power your car, we warm your home, we light your city. I'm Monsters Incorporated. Hey look, Betty! As a society who is built on a reliance to the energy of children's screams, when the length of innocence across the world seemed to diminish, obtaining their necessary energy became much, much harder. And this issue became even worse as the monster society grew. The larger the monster world became, the more energy they required, which meant Monsters Inc. needed to collect even more screams. Scarers would train for years to make it to the big leagues to play their part to keep the monster world running by attending elite universities. And Monsters Inc. was doing everything they could to maximize the amount of energy they would obtain from screams. With the top scarers, the best <laughs> refineries, and research into new energy techniques. Some monsters were leaning towards unethical and horrible ways of preserving the order of the world. Randall Boggs' invention of the Scream Extractor, for example, was built to be able to fill canisters off of the screams of one child in a single session. And the children he was using for those tests were abducted. I am about to revolutionize the scaring industry. When I do, even the great James P. Sullivan is gonna be working for me. But then everything changed when a girl named Boo became the first human to be let loose in Monstropolis. Although human screams were powerful and definitely could provide a massive amount of energy, friends Mike Wazowski and James P. Sullivan discovered something that would change the monster world forever. But then I discovered that human laughter was 10 times more powerful than scream. Whoa, -ho -ho! Sully became CEO of Monsters Incorporated, Mike became a comedian for the company, the scare floors were converted into laugh floors, the child detection agency became the comedy detection agency, and suddenly monsters stopped frightening children and began going to them to make them laugh. Mike expanded on the idea of bringing laughter to humans even further with the laugh floor. In Tomorrowland within the Magic Kingdom, Mike gives humans the chance to step into the only laugh factory in Monstropolis and make their way into a comedy club hosted by Monster of Ceremonies, Mike himself. Instead of sending monsters into your world, I came up with a brilliant idea of the laugh floor, where we invite you into our world, not to be scared, but to laugh. Suddenly, the energy crisis had been solved. The monster world could sustainably thrive once again, and they were doing better than they ever had before. But what makes laughter a superior energy to screams? I think the energy that is created from screams and laughter is more abstract than directly coming from the sound a person makes. If screaming was the only requirement to produce energy, monsters could have powered their world with their own screams. But when monsters like Sully and Mike scream, the world isn't overloaded with energy. <laughs> Therefore, monsters can only collect and use energy from the laughter and screams of humans. But again, it's not the loud shrieks or giggles that holds the power. I think the heightened emotions are what monsters are really collecting. Under many of the current dominant models of emotions called the circumplex model, the vector model, and the positive activation, negative activation model, each idea suggests emotions are on a spectrum of positive or negative feeling and vary in high to low intensity. Monsters seem to be able to collect energy from high intensity emotions. That's why monsters were previously trained to accommodate any child's greatest fears, learn to navigate a child's room, and were carefully matched with a child so they could be the ideal monster to produce the largest amount of sustainable energy. Monsters Inc. was strategically putting professional monsters into specific children's rooms so that monster could inspire the largest amount of fear within that child. And screams were just a consequence of creating that shock and heightened emotion. Laughter, though, we see as much more power than screams at the same intensity of emotion, which really means positive emotions are more powerful than negative emotions. When Boo screams, lights flash and electricity sizzles in Mike and Sully's apartment. But when Boo shrieks of excitement at about the same volume as her scream, she overloads the apartment and buildings all around them. Not every monster or electronic in those buildings could hear or pick up Boo's screams, but the electronics were absorbing the energy she was giving off. What was that? 
I have no idea. Although laughter is clearly more powerful than screams at the same intensity from the same child, in Kingdom Hearts 3, Randall explains his philosophy on the new source of Monster Inc.'s energy. He completely disagrees with the longevity of laughter, and he brings up some extremely compelling ideas. Laughter's just not sustainable. Once Junior torts his last chortle, you've gotta start over. But negative energy, especially sadness, give them something that really breaks their little hearts, and they'll stay sad forever. What Randall is arguing is that it doesn't matter if laughter and positive emotion can produce more energy in a single burst, because he's searching for a way to retrieve energy in a consistent way, and he thinks sadness and negative emotions are the way to obtain that. If Mike and the other comedians run out of jokes or they can't find new comedians, Randall worries the energy crisis will occur once again. He believes negative emotions stick around much longer. And that is true because of humans' natural negativity bias. The negativity bias is a natural human tendency to pay more attention to negative emotions than to positive ones. Studies show that people feel and do their best when they have at least three times as many positive emotions as negative emotions. And people ruminate about events that induce strong negative feelings five times longer than events that induce strong positive emotions. This is what Randall is talking about. People tend to focus on the negative aspects of their lives and need joy much more than the rest of the emotions for individuals to feel like they're having a positive existence. But Dr. Mary Gavin explains both positive and negative emotions are a natural part of being human. Anger, fear, resentment, frustration, and anxiety are emotions people attempt to avoid, but they are within us for a purpose, to make us feel uncomfortable, and they aren't always bad to have. Dutch psychologist Nico Frieda explains that emotions exist in order to signal situations in the world that require a quick response. The reason we notice negative emotions more is because historically the risks of responding inappropriately to negative events are greater than the risks of responding inappropriately to positive events. It's a survival mechanism. When times are good, we don't normally need to focus on our life as much because there is nothing we directly need to respond to. But when roadblocks come into our lives, we focus on them ideally so we can construct new plans or form new goals so we can keep moving forward. Now, sometimes people can't help the dark place they're in. And in that case, they need help. But some people can rise out of their negative emotions on their own. I know I've had my fair share of anxious school nights thinking about classwork, worrying over the state of the world, or thinking deeply about relationships. But over time, after feeling and acknowledging those negative emotions, I try to move on. I think by getting the help you need and making adjustments in your life after experiencing these negative emotions, anyone can find happiness again. But they have a place in our lives so that we can rise out of our situation and create a better life for ourselves. Feeling anger, sadness, or fear are intense emotions, which is why monsters can collect energy from them. But once people rise out of their narrow, focused existence, positive emotions allow people to go beyond preserving themselves and keeping themselves alive. Research shows positive emotions affect our brain in ways that increase our awareness, attention, and memory. They help us take in more information, hold several ideas in mind at once, and understand how different ideas relate to each other. Positive emotions open us up to new possibilities, giving us the ability to learn and build ourselves by developing skills and trying new things. Positive individuals tend to do better on tasks and tests, and they tend to be happier, healthier, learn better, and get along well with others. Pessimistic individuals can be better at perceiving their environment, but happy and optimistic people can better react and cope with their world. What positive reactions to the world like laughter does is allow us to build bonds, diffuse conflict, and ease stress and anxiety. Although some professionals disagree, philosopher and historian Adam Ferguson claims love and compassion are the most powerful principles in humans. And philosopher Baruch Spinoza believed a desire that arises from joy is stronger than one that arises from sadness. The energy monsters collect from humans derive from their intense emotions like fear and happiness. 
Both positive and negative emotions are powerful and have a purpose when they are felt. Sadness, anger, and fear are present, so we act to preserve our well-being and to keep ourselves alive. When the positive emotions of love, joy, and excitement are felt though, we are in a situation where we can become better and be the individuals we want to become. Negative emotions may stay in our minds, but positive emotions come stronger and propel us forward, which I think explains why laughter holds 10 times more power for monsters than our screams. Laughing and positivity propels us forward, and its power does the same for the monster world. Thank you to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon who are amazing supporters of my videos. Fun people, if you enjoy the magical content I make, it would mean a lot to me if you told someone about Watso videos. I want to spread magic through my videos, and by telling friends or family who you think would enjoy this channel as well, you're helping that mission. Now today we went through why I believe laughter is more powerful than screams, but what do you think? Do you agree or do you have your own ideas? Let me know your thoughts on this matter in the comments section and give this video a like if you think being positive and lighthearted at appropriate times helps people pursue their dreams. To see me talk about Monsters Inc. more, you can find the link to my playlist in the description and on the cards on screen. And if you'd like to continue to see more magical discussions like this one, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and the beautiful bell if you're new. As always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.